Hi everybody, I'm Dick. And I'm Hope. And today we're going to talk about seeds. We have a lot of seeds. A lot of seeds. We ordered a lot from Johnny's. You guys may have seen that video where we unboxed tons of $200 worth of seeds from Johnny's. And yet, we ordered more from Baker Creek. Um, you saw in our previous video, we did some soil blocking. and We started to start some seeds and it's taken off, which has also made us want to buy more seeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a never ending yeah. cycle. So we will be updating you guys today, not only sharing our order from Baker Creek with you, but updating you on these seeds because they are already thriving in just a few days. It's great, it's magic. Magic. So let's get started with our Baker Creek seed order. Okay, so we got seeds from Baker Creek as we explained before. We opened them already, we planted some, we couldn't wait. Yeah. But we're telling you, so you found out. Okay, so it came in two envelopes this time. I don't know why. And here is what we got. Some milkweed, okay. Milkweed is an important plant because it provides pollen and food to the monarch butterfly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is a perennial. And um, actually, monarchs don't eat anything but milkweed, yeah. so they have to have that. So here's your PSA. If you live on the migratory path of the monarch butterfly, you should grow milkweed. Mm-hmm. It's just a packet of seeds for two seventy five. I've also seen them at Walmart since mm -hmm. then. I believe there are some nonprofits that'll send you the seeds for free, too. Oh, oh that's cool. We should find out about that. Yeah. Okay, next up. Goji berry. Now, I like this one. I like to grow berries. Even if it's berries I don't want to eat, I just like to grow them. So here we have goji berries. These are uh, Chinese native. They're perennial. They come back every year. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they taste like. Do you? I don't. We'll find out. Yeah, and so we got 50 seeds for $4. So we'll have a lot of plants. We, we also hopefully will have some of this fruit to sell at the farmer's market. Oh yeah. When we go to farmer's market, we know that there's going to be a lot of other farmers selling things. So we thought, let's be the ones that have the interesting yeah. things to sell. The hipsters. <laughs> Which we got accused of being on right. Reddit. <laughs> I'm not very hip. Yeah. So you're more hip than I am. Right, well, you have blue hair. Uh, Next we have Helio. Heliopsis or oxide false sunflower. Let's just call it false sunflower. Pollinators love it. Yeah. And it comes with 75 seeds for 275. Yeah, not bad. And they also Baker Creek. If they if they have experienced any low germination, they will put more seed in. So I'm gonna reach up here. It says overpacked due to low germination, 48% germination. So they know and they're doing the right thing and giving you more seeds because of that. Yeah, and when we plant these up, we'll be careful to make sure that we compensate for that and how many seeds we drop in the cells. Ooh, poppies. Poppies are deer resistant. And I like that because we have a deer problem, as we said before. Now, these are pretty poppies. They have um, pink petals. It's like white to pink to purple. So you have this gradiated coloration going down. And what do you like about them, Hope? I really like these seed pods. And I think that that is going to be really cool in some of our flower arrangements. Yeah, these are beautiful pods. More poppies. More these poppies. are the ladybird poppies. These are perennials too. Deer don't like them. They're pretty. They're red with black spots on the inside. Mm -hmm. And we got 600 seeds in that Ooh. for $3. Then we have more poppies. This is the scarlet peony. These are really pretty. These are a deep red. Anything that looks like a peony, I like yeah, it. She likes peonies a lot. Yeah. And how many seeds do we have here? Um, so this one was three dollars for six hundred. Six hundred poppy seeds. That's a lot of poppies. All right. Now we have clover, crimson clover. Yeah. This is a pretty plant. I can't tell you much about it. Hope picked it out. There. So. Um, do you know the song? No. It says no, it's an Italian clover. You don't know, know the crimson it. clover song? No. Oh, I thought I I thought I was the person that didn't know music. Okay, I'll play it for you later. Right. Well, it's nitrogen fixing, so that's good. Yeah, that's why I bought it. So that is a great thing to sow anywhere that we don't have something else to sow because it will just be working on the soil. Mm, pretty good. Yeah, 2,000 seeds for $2, $3. Oh, now this one, I think we doubled up on. Yeah, we got jet black hollyhocks. 
We both really like the black flowers. Yeah, I like black flowers. Um, so I ordered these and forgot about it, and then you ordered some. Now, um, there's no true black flowers. These are actually a really deep purple. They look so black. Yeah. Oh, I know you're looking forward to this one. Blackberries. Schwarzenbedden. <laughs> so we have Schwarzenbedden blackberries. I'm excited about this. I like blackberries. It's funny, they look like blueberries in yeah. the picture. They're, they're not actually a blackberry. They just taste similar to blackberries, and that's why they're called that. Schwarzenbedden blackberries. Okay. So we got 30 seeds for $3. That's it? Ooh. Yeah, not very many seeds. I, I always wonder how they decide how many seeds to give you on any given thing. Stevia. I like stevia in my coffee. I like stevia too. I stopped using the yellow packet stuff, yeah. I forget, Splenda, because it always would make me sick. And I started using stevia and I felt so much better using stevia. Yeah. That's a perennial. And I'll be honest, when, when we're thinking about sustainability and seed shortages and food shortages, Stevia popped up and I thought, why not have a sweetener, just yeah. in case. We only got 15 seeds Ooh. for $5. Yeah, Those so seeds better these take. These better take, yeah. And we have eggplant, Chinese string eggplant. This is more decorative, right, than edible? Oh, it's edible. It's supposed to taste really, really good. Really? Buttery, tender. I don't know, how do you make eggplant parm out of this? I don't know, I don't know if you can make tiny eggplant little, parm. Tiny little slivers, I guess? I'm not sure. Well, it has nice purple flowers. Yeah, we thought it would be cool for farmer's market. Another one of those yeah. kind of standout vegetables there. Yeah. We'll come up with some recipes and maybe share them with our customers, have, if we are to have any customers. Now we have the lilac bell peppers. I'm excited to watch these grow. Are they this color? Oh, I don't know if the, I don't know. Because uh, peppers probably change really colors right. over time. Yeah, they start yeah. out green, then they turn purple. Yeah. So they're supposed to be really delicious also. So. Our dog will be very happy. Yeah, her dog loves that. So that's another of the interesting category that we wanted for Farmer's Market, as are following seeds. What type of carrot seeds are these? I don't know. I always think I pronounced this wrong. That's why I didn't want to say <laughs> Parisian? it. Parisian? I don't know. Parisian carrot? That makes sense yeah. to me. They're from Paris. <laughs> Paris, France. Yeah. Sometimes I see stuff like this and I'm like, maybe we should name it something else, like the George Costanza carrot. <laughs> Why not? Right? Why not? Another interesting carrot for the farmer's market. The lunar white carrot. These are very pretty. Um, yeah. White uh, slivers here almost seem like they're slightly transparent. It's yeah. Very beautiful. They'll be cool. Yeah. Farmer's market stuff. Maybe able to feed those to kids who think that they don't want carrots and slip yeah. them into their mashed potatoes or, or something. Or um, sometimes, I, I think I've seen this at Trader Joe's where they have a bunch of uh, sliced root vegetables and I think they have these color carrots in it. It's like the white and purple carrots or something mm -hmm. and they slice them up so and you pretty. bake them and they taste very good. Yeah. Okay, this one I got partly for you, partly for farmer's market. Okay. Arugula. Arugula. I haven't had arugula in six weeks. What's that? It's a vegetable. I love arugula. I don't know about wasabi arugula. Wasabi. But I will find out. There were 200 seeds for 350. But in my experience, it took a lot of seeds to get kind of a handful yeah. of arugula last year. Hopefully we have better success. I love arugula. Well, this is arugula as well. Yeah, that's also, I think it's an heirloom, and that's why it's in a different kind of packet. It's heirloom arugula. So this would be your more traditional arugula. Yeah, just plain. And you were out there eating it raw oh. right out of the garden last year. I love it. <laughs> I felt like a man going out there and eating arugula. <clears throat> <clears throat> 200 seeds for 275. Now we have a jalapeno, Craig's Craig jalapeno pepper. Normally it's pronounced jalapeno, but Craig pronounces it differently. <laughs> and so do <does>, so <laughs> you. <laughs> Craig's grande jalapeno. And so there are just 25 seeds in there for $3. That one might be something we sell as a seedling or, yeah. as, or as pepper seedling. Next we have the California wonder pepper. If you notice, we're growing lots of bell pepper type things because we use them in our mm -hmm. cooking so much and the dog yeah. loves them. And I like a lot of peppers myself. Yeah, so. we just use so many, so many peppers. Okay, and then, oh, this one's cool. And you can eat this one. This is a even zucca though, gourd. Even though it doesn't look like you can eat it. And if they grow that big, that man comes and takes a picture with it. <laughs> it's um, from Sicily, so it's got to be good. And uh, 
up to 100 pounds. Yeah, so that'll be really interesting at the farmer's market. Yeah. Take one of those and set it by your table and everyone will come by and want to talk about I it. I can't wait till this man comes to take a picture with my gourd. Oh, the Ron de Nice. Ron de Nice, I guess. Ron de Nice. <laughs> it's so. a zucchini, but it's more like a round yeah. zucchini. Yeah. The Ron de Nice. <laughs> now we have Aunt Molly's ground cherry. I had never what? had ground cherries before, but Under I. I understand that they're delicious. So we're so. going to try them. Why not? Okay, this was a mistake. All white sweet alyssum. We bought so much sweet alyssum this year. It's okay because I'm going to plant the front yard full of flowers that deer don't like, and apparently deer do not like alyssum. So I'm going to plant a lot of these. And then Baker Creek gives you a free seed packet with every order, and for some reason they they counted this as two orders, so we got two free seed packets. It's kale. I think we're hipsters. <laughs> so um, kale. Kale, which I'm not a big fan of kale, but I'm, I'm excited to grow it. Yeah, this is Russian Red or Ragged Jack Kale. I don't know who eats kale, really. People say they do, but I don't think they do. If nothing else, it's nice as a decorative touch yeah. for different things. It's good for dressing up a plate. Mm -hmm. Or a farmer's market stand. Yeah. So that's it for our Baker Creek um, seed order. And I guess it's worth mentioning that they are running low on... Yeah. Well, is there a seed shortage or is it just difficult for them to get things out? fast enough. Oh, I think that might be it. They just don't have the stack to get things out fast enough because at the stores they have a bunch of seeds. I think Baker Creek closed down their ordering for a couple weeks and then Johnny's Seed only allows um, individuals to order on Tuesday and Wednesday. Order now because they might be out or there's going to be a long delay in shipping. But be responsible. Don't hoard all the seeds for yourself. You know, If you order them, plant them, share them. Feed someone what you what you grow with them. And harvest your seeds if it's stuff you don't eat. I mean, yeah. even if you do eat it, harvest your seeds. Yeah, yeah like we'll practice doing that this year. Some pepper seeds. Okay, so now speaking of sprouting seeds, we're going to kind of give you an update on the seeds that we planted, the ones that we started in the, in the video about our seed starting supplies. So here are some of the seeds that we've sprouted so far. Petunias. I wonder if they can see that. So the difference this year has been the seed mats and the lights because we've tried to sprout some of these things before and had very little success. How long has it been since you planted this? Less than uh, a week? Yeah, like this one, six days. And this okay. one is what? Alyssum. Alyssum. This so is beautiful. So six days gonna be able on to that see one. This. Now these look better than the ones I planted outside last year in pots. It's grown more, it's healthier, the color's better. It's just a beautiful looking seedling. Shasta daisies, seven days. These were germinating in two days. Two days they were already germinating. So this one's gonna to be tough to see, but it's eucalyptus on one side and columbine on the other. The eucalyptus has sprouted, the columbine is not. The color is probably gonna stop you from seeing it, but it's on this side. Eucalyptus is kind of a purple pink when yeah. it's sprouting, so it's dark, it's hard to see, but that's exciting. This one is beefsteak tomatoes. Oh, you're going to be able to see that. Those are good looking. They sprouted, I think these sprouted a day and a half after we planted them. Yeah, they it, came right up. They were the first ones. Yeah, they're strong. So they're strong. It, they're seven days old right now. Uh, then we have the sweet basil. I love the way this tray looks. It's uniform, perfect, symmetrical. I like it. And um, if you don't remember from that seed starting video, these were planted one seed per soil block. Yeah, one seed per block. So, they're that full without doubling up on seeds at all. And this is Roma tomatoes. So Seven days ago. They also sprouted really right away. There's some that still little seed caps on top, but they're about to push them off. Let's see. This one is jalapeno on this side and lunchbox peppers on this side. Beautiful looking. Seven days old. This is snapdragon and delphinium. Snapdragons are there. This is the Madame Butterfly Snapdragon, right? Yay, hey, that's something we're really These, excited These, I'm about. really excited. They get really tall and beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. They're there. They're just very thin. Yeah, they're tiny little seedlings. And then these are sweet peppers. And they are, I believe, six days old. Marigolds are seven days old. I, I don't like marigolds. 
but neither do deer, so we're going to be so using marigolds to chase them off. We're going to try to make a perimeter that will repel the deer by the smell, because they don't like the smell of this. No, things. so it's going to be like, there's something about using a circle of salt to keep away <laughs> magic or something. We're going to use a circle of lavender <laughs> to try to keep away deer. Marigolds and all lavender. those things that they don't like the smell Strong of. smelling stuff. And then if it works, we can plant flowers that we like more. Yeah. So those are what we think a huge success yeah. in our seed starting this year. So we can plant the stuff we want to plant outside and we can get started early. And then when the season comes, we're ready to go and we don't have to buy them. Because previously I never really started stuff from seed because I never really did well. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like I can because of this whole setup we have here. So I'm really excited about it. We bit the bullet buying even this starter set of things, which we'll link to in, in the description. Um, but we just decided to do that and to invest that. And at this point, it, even just a weekend, I would say I would never do it again without it. Yeah. I would never do it again pointless. without it. We love the setup that we have. Just reporting back to you, we love the setup. We're very happy with our seeds and we're happy to plant up these new seeds that we got and showed you showed you today. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed watching. We enjoyed talking to you. And if you like the video, like it. And if you have something to say, say it. In the comment section below. We're lonely. Yes. <laughs> Talk to us. Nobody talks to us. Give us her. some tips. It's very intimidating, isn't she? I try to be. <laughs> and um, you should subscribe to us too and you get to see more of our content. We'd appreciate it. You don't have to. But we'd like it. It'd be nice. Alright. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thumbnail. Oh. Well, we should hold up some secrets. Uh...